This is everything you need to know about the Acid Lab in GTA Online. So in order to unlock the Acid Lab, you're going to need to complete all six of the brand new first dose missions. If you haven't done them yet, you should have already gotten a call from Ron in which this R popped up on your map. Just head over to it and you'll begin the first of six new missions. In the final mission, you're going to steal a Brigade 6x6 and bring it back to the Freak Shop. This is where it'll be stored alongside your delivery bike. Now in order to set up your Acid Lab, you're going to need to head over to one of these three locations on the map. Once you're there, take out these dudes, grab a forklift and load up the supplies on the back of this truck. Then just take it back to the Freak Shop. All you have to do now is come over to the vehicle workshop and pay the $750,000 fee and you now own an acid lab. Speaking of the vehicle workshop, this is where you'll come in order to customize your acid lab as well as your delivery bike. All of these upgrades are pretty much just your typical upgrades for cosmetics, performance and armor except for the acid lab upgrades tab. The most important one here is the equipment upgrade as it's going to increase the production speed as well as the sale value. In order to unlock this, you're going to need to complete 10 fulligan jobs. You can start these up by calling Dax and requesting work from him. So once you walk inside your acid lab, you'll more than likely notice that you have no supply. So how do we get supplies? There's actually two ways you can do this. The first way is to source supplies, which is where you're sent on a mission to go steal the supplies and then bring them back. The problem with this is that each mission takes about 10 to 15 minutes and only fills your acid lab up by one supply bar. In the same amount of time, you could get supplies the second way, which is to just buy them. You do this by either walking right up to Mutt in the acid lab or by calling him on your phone. To fully fill up on supplies, it's going to cost you $60,000 and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for them to arrive. Once they do arrive, you'll get a call from Mutt letting you know that they came in. Keep in mind that you won't be able to purchase supplies or sell product when the acid lab is inside the freak shop. And this brings us to the interaction menu. You can call over the acid lab to your location by going to your interaction menu, selecting services and selecting acid lab. Here you can request your acid lab as well as your delivery bike. If you come to return options, you can also send both vehicles back to the freak shop. And right down here under lab name, you can change the name of your acid lab for $5,000. You already know I had to do it. Now that we've got our supplies, how long does it take to fill up on product? Without the equipment upgrade, it's gonna take about six hours for full product. But if you actually come over to this table, you have the option to boost your production speed. So if you boost the production speed, it's going to be cut down to four and a half hours. Keep in mind that you can only do this once per real life day. Now with the equipment upgrade, it's going to take about four hours for full product. And if you boost the production speed, it'll be cut down to three hours. Now after finally maxing out on product, it's time to sell. There really isn't much to say about these sell missions. They're all pretty straightforward and shouldn't take you more than the 20 minutes you're given to complete them. And the best part about them is that they're absolutely nothing like the MC sell missions. But now how much do you actually make from this business? Without the equipment upgrade, the full pay you'll make is $237,600. And with the equipment upgrade, the max payout is going to be $335,200. Keep in mind that if you sell in a public lobby, you can earn an additional bonus based on the number of players in your lobby. 